Jake here for American Muscle, and today I'm taking a look at the Flowmaster FlowFX Catback Exhaust without tips for 2009 to 2014 5.7 liter Hemi Challengers. Now there's no shortage of exhaust options out there for the Hemi Challenger, but if you're looking for a bit more of a subdued or daily driver friendly option, then this FlowFX system from Flowmaster will be just your speed. This combines that classic Flowmaster sound with an element of subtlety to make a great option for a car you drive every day. Now volume wise, this is gonna get a two out of five on our loudness meter, so it's not gonna be very intrusive, but you'll still get some additional rumble out of it. Enough to be noticeable, but not over the top by any means. Now, exhaust can be a hard thing to get right balance wise, but as you heard in the clips at the beginning of the video, this one kind of nails that just right setup between some additional sound and keeping things a bit more subdued. It's certainly a noticeable change, but not so much that it's gonna get your neighbors in a tizzy. Now at idle, you get that trademark Hemi rumble that you can expect from a Flowmaster system, but when you really get into it, it gets a little bit more rowdy. And when you're at idle or even just cruising around, the sound is much more mild, relatively unobtrusive. It's what you would describe as a moderate step up from a stock system. Now inside the cabin, of course, you're certainly gonna hear this more than you would your stock system, but it's not gonna be so loud that you can't carry on a conversation, nor will you get tons of drone either. So for a daily driven car or one that sees a lot of highway miles, that's gonna be a great benefit. You get the sound that you want with none of the annoyances that sometimes come with aftermarket exhausts. Now, although Flowmaster calls these FlowFX mufflers a straight through design, you can see here that you do have quite a bit of baffling and you can hear it too. So that's going to contribute to that much more mild tone, something that's going to be a lot more subdued than their Outlaw series, for example. Again, this is also going to help contribute to keeping that drone at bay, and it's going to make this a much more pleasant drive without too much noise. Now, you also get an X-pipe in this system, which is great because it's going to help combat that drone while also improving exhaust flow, making for a slightly deeper, a little more aggressive exhaust note. Not to mention that this is also going to help increase power at higher RPMs. Now we're not throwing this one on a dyno to get numbers today, but as with any exhaust, it's gonna be more about the improvement in sound and feel rather than outright power. So just keep in mind that your mileage may vary. Now the system here is constructed from 409 grade stainless steel, so you're gonna get some good rust and corrosion protection, though not quite as much as T304 stainless. However, you also don't get the price of T304, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. Now the piping here is all two and a half inch mandrel bent tubing, so that means you're gonna get great exhaust flow. It's also gonna help reduce back pressure as well. Now one thing you've undoubtedly noticed by now is that this system does not include tips. So you do save a little bit of money over a system that comes with new tips, and it keeps that OEM look, because these are just gonna exit right in that lower bumper trim where your stock tips are. So for those who want something a little more subtle, keep that OEM type of look. This is gonna be a great option for you. Pricing here comes in at right around $925, putting it on the more affordable side of the spectrum when it comes to exhaust for these challengers. Now it's not the least expensive, but you are getting a good quality system here with some nice features like those mufflers and that X-pipe. The car's still gonna sound good and it's gonna be more than tolerable for a daily driver. So for what you're getting, I would still call this one a win. Installation is gonna come in at a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should take you about two hours to get the job done. Now, as with any exhaust, it can get a little finicky if you're doing it down in your driveway without a lot of clearance, but it's certainly something that you can accomplish at home. Just make sure you've got some time on your hands to get it done. And with that, let's go ahead and throw it over to the install bay, and we'll show you what's what. So the tools you're gonna need for this install include an impact, a hanger removal tool, a 15 and a 13 millimeter deep socket, a 3 8 swivel socket, 
a 3 8 extension and jacks and jack stands and or lift and pull jacks. What's up guys, today we're going to be installing an exhaust on our Challenger, but before we get started you're going to watch a short video on how to uninstall your stock opponents and I'll meet you back here for the install. First up here I'm going to grab my impact gun, an extension and a 13 millimeter socket and I'm actually going to remove the hanger isolators directly from the frame, unbolting them from the vehicle rather than using a removal tool and popping the isolators out. So we're going to keep them all in one piece attached to the exhaust and just remove them from the frame. So I go straight above the muffler, there's one behind it and one in front of it by the tips. Now when you do the second one, you want to make sure you have a hand on the muffler because it's going to want to drop down a little. All right, now we can do the same thing on the other side. So now you can grab a hanger removal tool and head back toward the middle section of your exhaust here. Now on the driver's side, you have this flex tube. Directly above that, there's a hanger into the isolator. I'm actually gonna pop this guy out. Now as you're doing this, before you finish up removing the exhaust, it's a good idea to have a pull jack in place or a jack stand or something similar, maybe even a hydraulic jack, just to support the middle weight of the exhaust as you remove it. Now if you have a helping hand during these final stages of unclamping it from the front of the vehicle, that goes a long way, so I'm going to grab a buddy to hold the tips while I remove the front and we can drop it all in one piece. Now you can grab your 15 millimeter deep socket and loosen up the two clamps holding them to your cat pipes. I'm going to grab our X pipe, I'm going to slide those two in. I'm going to slide our clamps over. We don't want to tighten these up too much in case we need a little bit of wiggle room for the other components. Alright guys, so next step is going to be our mufflers. We're going to throw our clamps on first. And for our muffler on the driver's side, we're going to make sure that the, it looks like this. So the inlet pipe is going to be towards the middle of the vehicle and your outside was going to be in the middle. So we're going to slide that over our X pipe, slide our clamp over, make sure this is straight. You're going to grab your 15 millimeter socket and we're going to snug this up. All right, so it's the same process for the other side. I'm just going to slide this in. Make sure that's even with the other muffler. Slider clamp over. We're going to tighten this down. Get that a little more tight so it stays up there. Next step is going to be our tailpipe. Slide our clamp over that muffler. Then I'm going to grab the hanger and put it into the isolator up front. Then I'm going to get that lined up and into the muffler for the middle isolator. And just pull that back until it lines up. Now for the second one, I remove the hanger with the factory exhaust. So I have that here with me. So I'm going to slide that onto the hanger first. Oops. 
Then I'm gonna thread that in to the factory location of the hanger. So now for the bolt to our hanger, I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket and a swivel extension to tighten this down. And now you can tighten that clamp down right at the muffler. So now we're gonna take our 15 millimeter socket and we're gonna tighten this up. Now you can repeat this step on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna install the factory exhaust tips onto our new system. So we're gonna slide our ball clamp over our tailpipe. We're gonna line this ball part up onto here. Make sure that's centered and doesn't touch, because once it gets hot, it'll melt the plastic around. Slide that clamp over. Could always come back through and tighten this back up to make sure it's aligned. So now we're going to take that same 13 millimeter socket and swivel socket and we're going to tighten this down. Now you can repeat that process on the other side and I'd recommend going back through and tightening down all your clamps. So that's going to wrap up the install on our Flowmaster Flow FX Catback Exhaust without tips for your 09 to 14 5.7 liter Hemi Challenger. Thanks for watching and for all things Challenger, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.